Hello and thank you for your interest in knowing what's new in Expedition VX 2.2 for the EDM server and utilities. In this video, we would like to share the highlights of the EDM server and the utilities that manage it for the release of VX 2.2. The most noticeable change is the terminology. What used to be called XDM server is now EDM server. Product names, alongside directory names, were changed to use EDM instead of XDM. We will review the new licensing and packaging model. In VX 2.2, Distributed Vault is no longer controlled release and is now available for everyone. We took the opportunity and updated the EDM server infrastructure. Dozens of third-party components that established the EDM server infrastructure were updated to bring more stability and better performance. We enhanced the Configuration Manager and the Diagnostic Dashboard utilities to support all the new capabilities that were added to VX 2.2. Let's start. EDM Server what used to be XDM Server is now Expedition EDM Server. In a similar way, we now have Expedition EDM Design Services and Expedition EDM Library Services that are deployed on the EDM Server. On the client, we now have Expedition EDM Design Cockpit and Expedition EDM Library Cockpit. When you look at the default directories, you find the EDM Server data for the data directory and the EDM server for the active EDM server directory. This same concept of EDM adjustments you will find in log file names, etc. The new licensing and packaging model is fully supported. We'll review what's related to the configuration and deployment of the EDM server. For customers that installed EDM library service, the configuration page was slightly modified and it does no longer provide the three options for 25, 50, and 200, 300, but just a single simple list of settings as you can see on the screen. And so if you have the new license model, we will use it. Otherwise, we will continue to use the previous model. However, and this is very important, once you deploy the EDM server with the new licensing schema, we migrate the database and you cannot go back to use the old licensing model. Be aware of that and use caution before you deploy the EDM server. This is how it looks like from a user perspective. Web client view and desktop client view. Based on the permissions that the user have, a list of available licenses will be presented to select from. During the login process, the user will be prompted to select the license that he wants to use for the current session. Only the selected license will be acquired. A user that did not select any license will be prompted to do so if he tries to edit a design. With few clicks, the user can select the license and now he should be able to edit the design. Hence, the user also has the option to modify the license from within the tool itself during his work. Another good news that comes with VX 2.2 release is that Distributed Vault is now generally available for all customers. We improved and stabilized this solution and we are delighted to release it. For those of you who are not familiar with Distributed Vault, the goal is to improve performance by bringing the data closer to the users. Customers' teams that are globally spread can now check in and check out designs to a local satellite vault, thus saving themselves from long uploads and downloads processes in case of working with a single central vault. Let's review the architecture. The master XDM server on the left is deployed with a remote master vault. In our example, in the USA. Clients in New York will directly work with the master vault. I deployed two more satellite vaults, one in Europe 
and the other one in Japan. And so clients working in Paris and London will download and upload data from the European satellite vault, while clients in Tokyo will use the satellite in Japan to do so. The EDM server infrastructure was added the capability to support Elasticsearch. This enhanced searching engine is heavily used by the application that implemented it. We took the opportunity and like in any other release, we updated dozens of third-party components that established the EDM server. This increases the stability, improves the performance and provides higher security. All those updates will be transparent to customers. I'd like to point out that we enhanced the configuration manager and diagnostic of the EDM server in order to support all the mentioned improvements and more. We improved the backup and restore procedure, as well as the data analyzer utility that investigate the results of a restore process. Furthermore, we added new diagnostics that can be found on the Performance tab of the Diagnostic Dashboard. Those are the Session Monitor, the Vault Synchronization Status, and the Search Monitor. As you just saw, a lot of efforts were invested in the Expedition VX 2.2 release. In addition to the terminology change, there are new features like the new licensing and packaging model and the distributed vault. We updated the technology, which is now more stable and more secure. In this video, we demonstrated those in a glance. We suggest you view the other videos that we provide, and especially the VX 2.1 playlist, which covers the distributed vault solution. Thank you.